for, for a young guy straight out of school, it was a totally unbelievable environment. We had uh, 675 people working three shifts. Um, it was just flat out. It was just go, go, go all the time. And uh, it was really dynamic. When I came here in 76, it was really, it was fun. We had a great group and we had a good boss and we just had lots of fun. And everyone seemed to know everybody. My recollections are the foreman, supervisor, certainly had more of a sympathetic ear and a, let's say, a kindness towards um, their employees, probably because they related, I don't know. Lots more people, but everyone was a lot closer. We had a very big social club and uh, done lots of things together. We had a tennis club, a chess club, cricket club, billiard club, and the mill had their own tennis courts. And every year we had a picnic. Um, and we'd go out and have races for the kids and the adults and, and the Miss Woolamels. And then we started to have a children's party for Christmas. I can remember going out to what was the Wangaratta Drive-In and, and um, having Santa and getting the present, having your name called out, it was really good. Everybody looked out for everybody. Um, if somebody was sick, you'd all go to see how they were and if they needed anything. To me, it was a second family. Wangaratta Willow Mills has been a major employer uh, in the town uh, all this time. So there was a phenomenal number of people that owe their sh sheer lives, I guess, um, or their upbringing to uh, textiles in this town. Uh, there's no doubt, the textile town, no doubt about that.